Hey, it's George, and I'm in the shop. I'm working on the Metroplex 50 watt design, and I've, I've got some really serious, high level geeky help. Today, I've got Dan Foley from Audio Precision in the shop with me, and every time he comes by to visit, he shows me another level of insanity, things that can be done with the APX 515. And so, I'm getting some more insight, and we're really narrowing down. Uh, zeroing in on the uh, the whole DNA sample for a vintage amp thing. Okay, so Dan, I'll let you take over and just kind of uh, walk us through some of this geekiness, if you would, please. Okay, George, thanks. The typical way that people have been using audio measurement tools for decades to study behavior of an amp has been using a simple oscilloscope and a distortion meter. And we've got that in the AP plus many, many more tools. So to show the common way of analyzing an amp, here we put in simple tone. Right now it's A440 hertz. So we want to see how this amp is behaving with that signal. So we see we've got a sine wave, looks pretty clean. Here's frequency information and here's showing the distortion level. But if I wanted to look at the behavior of this amp, let's say playing a low E on a guitar, which is 80 hertz, I put that in and we see something completely different. So we see that these tools can give us insight into how the amp behaves at different input levels from the guitar, different output levels of the amp, but it's very time consuming to use it in this manner. So a key thing with the AP is all of this can be automated. In just one quick sweep, we end up getting information in regards to the gain characteristics, what the distortion looks like, the actual say oscilloscope trace so it's very evident that we see in this particular frequency range in here we can see how the amp is compressing and then we can get individual harmonics and this part is actually the key element to decoding the DNA of an amp is that we can look at the characteristics of any individual harmonic all the way up to the 20th harmonic over the entire audio frequency range as well as over a wide range of input levels which would replicate where the volume control and tone control settings are on any guitar. So I'm going to now turn it back over to George. Okay, I hope that wasn't too geeky or too over anyone's head. Uh, the idea here is that we have technology at our disposal that really advances things beyond the conventional methods and techniques. And so we're trying to utilize that to the fullest. And everything that's at our disposal here we're applying to the Metroplex 50 watt project. And if you uh, think about the concept of emulating a vintage amp, everything that happens in a vintage amp with just a preamp circuit, the applications are almost endless. Uh, it, it really starts to approach that kind of uh, amplifier modeling concept, but does it with true analog circuitry. And so that to me is the state of the art. Uh, that we would like to advance and with Dan's help we're going to get there and with your help on Kickstarter we'll get this done there's a lot of exciting things to come so uh, thanks for the support and thanks for watching uh, I appreciate it and uh, we'll have some more updates soon